I caught an interview. It was Gilbert Burns. They got to the topic of Conor McGregor. And Gilbert was quite dismissive of Conor and said, look, he cannot come to this weight class. He will get crushed. We're, we're simply too big for him. He's got to be a 55-pounder. Now, I don't quite know how they got there. I don't know how Gilbert Burns, the top guy in the world, would have been asked and, and, and parlayed into Conor. But we do have this discussion of where's Conor going to go? The pictures that we've seen of Connor, the, we don't know how good Connor's feeling. We don't know when he's coming back. One thing that we do know, pictures worth a thousand worse, he's bigger than he's ever been. So if he's gone 170 before, if he didn't want to cut to 155 before, the fact that he's bigger now than he's ever been is a pretty good clue that his first fight back, at least, is going to be at 170. But we don't know that. And when Gilbert Burns was talking about Connor, he was not dismissive to Connor. He wasn't putting him down. He was talking about his size. Just said, with his size, he needs to be a 155 pounder. I will tell you, that's the same thing people said about Gilbert Burns. That was a little bit of irony, hearing Gilbert say, because people said that about him. Gilbert was a 55 pounder, and he did well. He went to 70, where people said he's got no chance. He went on his run. And I will tell you, 170 right now is very interesting. It's very interesting, because if you look at the players who are not booked, the guys whose dance card is still open, it is murderer's row. We're about to start seeing 70 pounders getting booked and you're you're going to salivate. It's going to be so interesting. And I don't even know what's going on with Colby and Masvidal. By the way, they've got something going on outside of the sport. And it appears that they're not getting booked until that gets resolved, but that's never been said. It just appears that so I don't even know when those guys are going to be back. I'm just talking about the players that are still there right now. Then if you add them, right, it gets really excited. But let's go back down to 55. You're trying to guess what Connor's going to do. And we've isolated. It's going to be one of those two weight classes. Okay. But 55 is changing rapidly as well. The leading candidate for Connor was Nate Diaz. Now, Nate told the world that to the point that he was even offered that and asked to wait for it. I believe that. Now, I was hearing those same rumblings. And I've been hearing them for a period of time to the point that International Fight Week, which is long behind us, but it was in July. When that was coming together, they were hoping they could get Conor back and put he and Diaz on that card. I've just been hearing these things, so I believe it to be true. But Nate is now not an option. So then you go to the other likely suspect, which was Dustin Poirier. But he was booked yesterday against Chandler. And then, of course, you look at the guy to most recently call out, Connor, who is Chandler, but he's going to be opposite Dustin Poirier, right? I mean, just the pieces are getting filled in. There was a lot of talk of Connor coming back, going right into a world title fight. I do not believe that Connor's going to fight anybody in the top five at 155 pounds, unless it's the champion. I don't think Connor's going to come back for a really, really tough and hard night because they're so close, right? You're splitting hairs. Charles Oliveira is the champion of the world. One thing in common in his last, he's been knocked down in every fight. He's almost lost every fight. And I think Connor's going to see that and see an opportunity. These guys are extremely close and they can beat each other. The Islam angle. Because Connor loves to do what you don't think he's going to do. If Islam was to become the champion, I think you have a very good likelihood that either Connor does not return to the sport. He doesn't see the interesting match. He's not compelled. He doesn't come back. I think that that is on the table, even though it's not being discussed. And the other side is he comes right in and takes on Islam, no matter what. No matter how bad of a match you think that is, no matter how bad of a matchup you think that is. I could see Connor doing it just for those reasons. Now, save that thought and do, do what you want to do with it. But the options are changing at 70 for McGregor for all the things that we thought we knew, for all the predictions that we were out there making. But the same thing can be said for 55, and then we're left with, we still don't have a guesstimated date. I mean, the brief rumblings that I told you that were rumor that Connor was going to be on top of the bill on International Fight Week. There was some kind of positivity. We know that he's back. We know that he's training to some degree. We know that through his social media, him putting things out. Training, hitting mitts, lifting, doing elliptical machines, moving some dumbbells around is very different than sparring. And I don't know if Connor's doing that. I don't know to what degree and how imminent this return is. So it's hard to start making guesses, right? Very hard to start making guesses. But if this is going to be in a reasonable amount of time, if this is going to be at some point 
in 2022, which is each week goes by looks less and less likely as the pay-per-views get announced and the cards start to fill up. As Madison Square Garden, which is going to be in November, gets one fight announcement, which is Poirier versus Chandler. I think that's the main event. But I think that because generally when you make the announcement and the date, you tell the venue and the date, the first fight that you attach to that is generally the main event. That's not a rule. If you want to go on general alleys, we don't play Madison Square Garden and not put a belt up. So there's a chance that that is still being looked at for a match, for an opportunity, possibly for the return of McGregor. If that's true, if I'm looking in the right direction here, who would the opponent be? We've seen unlikely suspects before, and we've seen it work. Connor can make it work. Connor versus Cowboy was almost out of nowhere. That event, just to remind you, January 20th, that event did not exist. Connor called, said I'm back, wanted to do it in January. Dana had to work backwards. He had to go get a venue, get an event, get all of his partners on board, go make it happen, and it worked. So a lot of options for McGregor, and they're not always the obvious ones. Gilbert Burns dismissing Connor at 170 pounds. Gilbert Burns is as good of a fighter as we've got today. You want to talk about the top 10 fighters in the world? You always look to champions first. You're talking about the top 10 currently competing. Gilbert Burns is in that discussion. But Gilbert, who says Connor can't do it, he's not big enough. That's the same thing people said to you, Gilbert. 